England and West Indies will attempt to make history when they contest the World 2020 final at the iconic Eden Gardens in Kolkata on Sunday. No team has won the competition more than once since its inception in 2007. India, Pakistan, England, West Indies and Sri Lanka have all won the title. England lost to West Indies in their first group match but have since won four in a row, while the Windies lost to Afghanistan having qualified for the semi-finals, where they beat India. Australia face West Indies in the women's final. England's Owen Morgan, we know it's not going to be a normal game. Even in the semi-final, there was quite a lot of hype around the expectation of playing in a final. I want all of our players to embrace it. Everything's going to feel a little bit rushed to start with. It's important that we're in a really good frame of mind to slow things down when needed and more importantly execute our skills. Given the strides we have made in the last 12 months in white ball cricket, I think this would be a great reward for the mindset we've shown the dedication and the hard work we've put in. West Indies skipper Darren Sammy, England is a team we respect. We know the caliber of players they have in the dressing room, they have a lot of match winners as well. But we tend to focus on what we can do on the cricket field and as a group we believe that once we do what we know we can it is going to be difficult to defeat us. Since that loss to us, England have moved in leaps and bounds, that's why they are in the final. I always want cricket to be the winner and hope the fans are entertained and it will be a very exciting match, but at the end I just want West Indies to be victorious. 2020 History The first official T20 matches comprising 26 ball overs per side took place in the 2003 English County cricket season and the first T20 international was played between New Zealand and Australia in Auckland in February 2005. The inaugural World T20 was played in 2007 and won by India but after six tournaments in the first nine years, there will be a four-year gap before the next one in Australia in 2020. Eden Gardens has been staging international cricket since 1934 and hosted its first T20 international in 2011. The highest score made there in a T20 was the 201-5 Pakistan posted against Bangladesh in this event. Bangladesh hold the unwanted lowest score record, with their 70 against New Zealand last month. Neither finalist has yet played at the ground in this tournament, England playing all their games to date in Mumbai and Delhi, West Indies playing at Mumbai, Bangalore and Nagpur. Temperatures are expected to be around 3-1c for the final, which is a night game, beginning at 1900 hours local time, with a capacity crowd of 66,000 expected. Australia will seek a fourth successive title in the women's final, which precedes the men's final and begins at 14.30 local time. The Australians, who beat England by five runs in the semi-final in Delhi, have yet to lose against the Windies, having won all eight of their previous T20 internationals. Stephanie Taylor's Windies are the first team other than Australia, England and New Zealand to qualify for a women's world T20 final. Taylor has proven an inspiration with both bat and ball, her 187 runs in the tournament are bettered only behind England captain Charlotte Edwards and she has taken 8 wickets. Australia, from M. Lanning, capped, K. Beams, A. Blackwell, N. Carey, L. Cheadle, S. Coit, R. Farrell, H. Furling, A. Healy, W. K. T., J. Jonathan, B. Mooney, E. Osborne, E. Perry, M. Shutt, E. Villani. West Indies from S. Taylor, Capt, M. Aguilera, W. K. T., S. Campbell, S. Connell, B. Cooper, D. Dodden, A. Fletcher, S. A. King, Kaishana Knight, Kaishia Knight, H. Matthews, A. Mohammed, S. Quintine, S. Selman, T. Smart.